Hello and welcome to the University of Shed on John Maynard Keynes. John Maynard Keynes was a British economist who had a significant and long-lasting effect on national and global economic policy. He first came to prominence with his 1919 book, The Economic Consequences of the Peace, which argued that the Treaty of Versailles, the diplomatic agreement which had ended the First World War, punished Germany too severely. Keynes was proved correct just a few years later when the German economy experienced hyperinflation, which caused huge political instability and misery and led ultimately to the collapse of the Weimar Republic and the rise of Hitler and Nazism. Throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries, economic thought had been dominated by neoclassical economics. This system believed fundamentally in free markets, that government involvement should be very limited and that there should be balanced national budgets. In 1936, Keynes outlined his opposition to the neoclassical economic paradigm in his most important book, The General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money. One of the main arguments of the book is that governments should be involved in the economy could borrow money and go into debt in order to fund infrastructure projects. And that this can be done on a counter cyclical basis. That is, the best time for the government to spend money is during an economic downturn. One of the key benefits of this approach was full employment. This idea seems to have had some influence, although how much is debatable, on the New Deal programme introduced by US President Franklin D. Roosevelt to combat the Great Depression. The New Deal contained strong government interventions to support vulnerable groups, such as the unemployed, youth, the elderly and farmers. It also enacted financial reforms which were intended to prevent future economic shocks. There is clear evidence of Keynes's influence on the economic policies of nation states after the Second World War, where many of them created strong welfare states and a mixed economy approach, where some industries or parts of industries were nationalised, i.e. they were owned and run by the state, and some were privatised, i.e. they were owned and run by private companies and individuals. This so-called Keynesian consensus lasted for the next 30 or so years. Keynes's thinking also had a huge influence at the transnational level. In 1944, he was one of the main architects of the so-called Bretton Woods Conference, which saw 44 allied nations shape a new global economic system for the post-war period. Its main focus was on economic cooperation between nations and resulted in the creation of institutions, including the World Bank, then known as the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, and the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. In the 1970s, Keynes's influence decreased considerably and came to be replaced in many economies by the neoliberal ideas of Milton Friedman and others, who believed the state should have a minimal role in the economy. This said, his ideas have remained important and influential, and often become popular again during recessions. For example, the USA and UK's response to the 2007 to 2008 financial crisis contained a number of Keynesian elements. <laughs>